it's about lead and follow. And when we talk about the topic, it's always actually about the hands, about the hands, uh, about the hands, we don't use it, our thumbs and so on, and also <laughs> about our arms, right? Mm -hmm. But nobody's talking about our body. And the philosophy behind us, we lead actually with our body, with our core. It's so important. I want to give you a right hand. One, two, I open up, you see the core is working with her. Yeah? Second, cross body. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. She just did it because I was opening up and she's always going with us parallel. How many times I'm saying, try to face her. So let's say we are talking about the backstop turn, okay? So I see the guys doing this. It's again the same thing. So we are not facing her. So she needs to know what my body wants. So for instance, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm looking her with my body. Okay, that's the only thing I need to do. You see how our body is working parallel to each other and I can do everything just with opening my, my core or using my core, okay? If I'm not using my core, or my body, I'm dancing like this. This arm is not connected with my body. So guys are moving like this, you know? But there's nothing here. So it comes like a tree from here outside, okay? Always inside, outside, not vice versa. So it's not like this. Oh God. Uh, Maria. <laughs> you know, we don't do that. So, that's the advice for today. Always try facing to each other. Use your core. And with that, everything moves. If you don't do it, I see also guys, for instance, doing this. Because they want to move something, they don't know what to do. And they just move their arms, you know. And then, you know. <laughs> Sorry. So just write it into the comment if you know those guys or if you are one of them who needs help, you know, um, or feels like, ah, there is something wrong and I'm just using my arm, you know. So just write it into the comment if you are familiar with that problem, with that issue. It's not a problem, you know, it's just like an Herausforderung, we say in Germany. In English, is it? Warte, hab ich, kann ich? Just the next, just an Herausforderung. Okay, uh, Sie, uh, hey uh, Alexa, was heißt Herausforderung auf Englisch? Sag nur den Anfang. Herausforderung auf Englisch heißt oh. Challenge. Yes, it's just a challenge. The easiest word actually I can. Doesn't matter. So we don't see problems, right? We just see challenges. So, and if there is a challenge, if you see like, ah, oh, you just use one thing of your body, try to use your whole body, try to use your core in order to give her a good lead, you know? So just remember, not using your arms, not only using your arms, and you're gonna have a beautiful time on that floor. Just write in to comment if that was helpful. If